What's going on everybody? This is the Area Lord. Welcome back to another unboxing video. This is for Jack 3 for the Limited Run Games Collection. Uh, only one more after this. Uh, Jack X Combat Racing is the last game to be offered in the little collection that Naughty Dog partnered with Limited Run Games on. <clears throat> Limited Run Games has taken up the mantle and has been very, I'd say very communicative. You know, in terms of company transparency, I think they've done a very good job. I've had some DMs actually with a couple of the uh, customer support people and some of the senior people too. Very nice. Also met them at PAX East. Um, great group. And um, I think that they should be doing, I mean, I'll do like a full review probably when I unbox Jack X, but... Um, this game, I, immediately when I saw this, I was like, Ratchet and Clank should be like maybe the next logical one, maybe Sly Cooper. Uh, it just depends if those companies are willing to uh, go along with it. Um, but seeing as how, I guess I'll talk about this as I unbox, seeing as how Naughty Dog is the only company of the three, considering for Sly Cooper, Ratchet and Clank, and Jack, uh, Ratchet and Clank and Sly Cooper had new entries. Uh, and Jack and Daxter did not be on 2005. And Ratchet and Clank got PlayStation 3 entries. They got a freaking movie for crying out loud. Sly Cooper also got Sly 4. Um, it's just kind of disappointing that uh, Naughty Dog didn't. It was just diff It was a clash of ideology. Uh, as Neil Druckmann would say, he wanted to do more realistic stuff. Um, but there were some really realistic themes in the Jack games. So. I don't know exactly how that makes sense, but... Alright, so we get the usual... We get the usual. When I say the usual, I mean... I mean this. This is the usual. Right here. <clears throat> so you get this card. Yes. Foil card. I don't know how the cards are collected. Exactly, because a lo there was a lot of them, there was a lot of them the first time around. Um, in the, uh, ja in, <clears throat> and when I say the first time around, I mean the Jack 1 and 2 unboxings that I did as well. Um, so, let's uh, just rip this off right here, and pull that down, and we have, oh look at that. You get the side thing. It's so cool that I have all three of these, man. I'm not a big fan of the of the combat racing game, but I will say that um, all the content here is absolutely amazing. I mean, look at that. So this is the little um, the the bronze replica item that you get this time around is the blaster gun, um, which this is definitely easier to lose than. Because the for Jack 1, you got the Precursor Ward. For Jack 2, you got the seal, the seal of Mar symbol. And those were, like, pretty heavy. This is really lightweight. Like, I'm surprised. I thought that this would be a little bigger. Just, in my opinion, I thought this would be a little bigger. Um, that's cool. Um, another freaking 16 gigabyte memory card. I, I have no idea, A, what to do with these things, and B, even how to use them. Because I see that little thing there. That's supposed to just slot right in. Um, but, like, is this a PlayStation 2 memory card or is it, like, a USB drive for a computer? And if it is, how do you use it? I posed this question in the second one, uh, the second unboxing. I'm, to this day, still baffled. Um, <laughs> so, okay. Oh, all right. So, we got Jack 3. This is a really cool cover here. Um... And so the back cover is the exact same as the original Jack 3, which is very cool. It only requires 3.3 gigabytes. This is awesome cover art, though. I like this. This was when the game was being promoted. They had this, this, when, like, before it came out, they had a lot of promotional material, especially in, in PlayStation Magazine, PSM, which I used to subscribe to back when it existed. Uh, now it's just official place. They used to, I don't know if you guys knew, there were two PlayStation magazines back in the day. It was official PlayStation magazine and PlayStation magazine. Very confusing. And then they just merged into one. And I don't know if either is operational. I mean, given the state of journalism and digital media, online entertainment. So who knows? All right. And then we also get, oh, we'll get to that in a minute right there. But we also, hold on, I'm going to put this, put this down again. 
so I can do the poster, which I got a poster for each, which is very cool. Oh, okay. So, okay. So, this is one side of the poster. That's the first side, the same as the game box. And on the back, this came with the So originally when you bought Jack 3, you got this inside the instruction manual. And how great. I mean, back in the day when instruction manuals had color print, uh, intricate designs of um, the map, the controls, uh, backstory on some of the characters. Now most instruction manuals are just blank because you know, we, there's online digital versions of the game that you can get. Um, and so who has any need for that? Which is unfortunate. It's like a dying art, uh, quite literally. Um, and so I'm just glad that this collection uh, preserved that artistic work um, that was brought forth with the game. You had some great... Uh, I mean, th these weren't particularly scenes from the game, but they were just made for fans who wanted collectible memorabilia and... This, I mean, this kind of stuff is great. So, um, and then of course we have the, oh, that's so cool, look at that. I just, I love the artwork that they have for this. This is the official Jack 3 soundtrack. And how many songs are on here is the question. <laughs> oh, you could see me in the reflection. Um, let's see, Metal Head Hunt. So, all right, so all of the, all of the soundtrack music is a, is, is above with Josh Mansell and below it is the in-game cutscene stuff. So anything that like happens like an in-game cinematic where there's music in the background, very little music in the background, they have the track for it, which is, that's pretty badass because People had ripped the Jack 3 soundtrack, the Jack 2 soundtrack, the Jack 1 soundtrack. They had ripped it before and got those files, but they never got the files where there was like a, a cutscene cinematic in the background. And this, I think that's one of the biggest perks of getting this. Now, people have already, like I already saw on YouTube, somebody already put the full soundtrack for this out on YouTube. So you could just download it, MP3 off of YouTube. But this is more authentic to have the discs and it's a collectible i mean that's the whole reason you get this thing in the first place um oh this is a stand oh okay i was gonna say this was in that this was in this slot right here so this is a stand for your gun the jack three the gun it stands up on here i don't know how it does but We'll figure it out. I think it probably the the grip right here, it probably um, wedges in to this little fork and then it sticks on top, so. Yeah, cause if you see, there's, there's two little holes. I don't know if you guys, yeah, you can see them. There's two little holes right there. And so you gotta put it in, in the, you have to put both forks into it. Okay, so. All right, and then last but not least, just another, well, I can actually probably get this with my hands now, can't I? Like old Yu-Gi-Oh trading cards, right? As soon as I say that, I just cheat with some scissors. Oh, damn. Oh, it's been a while since, uh, every, it seems to be like every month these come out, but... Seems like by the end of the year, we'll be all done. All the unboxings will be done. So you got, this is the whole cast, most of them. And you got Jack Holofoil. It's the poster we just saw. And you got Count Veeger in the background, this big, uh, Precursor, uh, staff, you got the seal door. This is the original game box cover for the United States. 
This is the other side of that poster, and this was another, this was like on the strategy guide. That was the promotional artwork. Um, so that is about it. And then of course, yes, we have the design Bible, which I believe will have the same, the same intro from the, the staff. Uh, yeah, original production binder. So, yeah, Arch, let's see, Jack and Dax, Arch, Villain, Supporting Characters, Minor Characters, Enemies, Gadgets, Vehicles, Plot, Story, Level, Art. Oh, there was a lot, I mean, this game had, what, like, eight guns, well, it, there was four guns and then two modifications, so there was, it was 12 guns, there was 12 guns in this game. And they wanted to, yeah, they wanted to Jack 3 development, you know, how was Jack gonna look? Jack's exposed to pure light ego, the closest friends in Fortune was Jim. Light Jack. So this was like, for fans of the series, they said, oh, this is kind of like when Jack got the power up when he faced Gol and Maya. This is like the light ego power up, right? Tall with Gaunt, almost in mass. Huh. I love the first sentence here. Errol somehow survived his attempt to kill Jack. <laughs> yes, somehow. You don't know how. Somehow he did it. We're still trying to figure that out. All right. So it'll be interesting to compare what... Because they did have a, a lot... There were a lot of enemies in this game. There were a lot of enemies in this game. And so I wouldn't doubt that some of these divine designs made it into the game. Most of them did. Look how many guns there were. There were so many guns. Yeah, and then the, the story was... Cut, look, I mean, jeez. Yeah. This will be cool to read through. Um... All right, guys, that's it for this unboxing. There's only one more of these that I'm going to be able to do, obviously, because there's only one more game in this collection. And then the Jack 4 game cover box is the reward that you get for getting all these collections. So as soon as Jacket X is um, available to... It's not even, I haven't even seen a, a window to purchase it yet on Limited Run Games sites. So once it's uh, purchasable, I will be able to do an unboxing for that, and then investigate how to get the Jack 4 cover box, because there's no clear instructions on how to do that just yet. I still have to wait for all of that from Limited Run Games, and as soon as I have that information, I'll try to get that information up and unbox that as soon as I possibly can. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. This has been the Arid Lord and my foot, briefly. <laughs> um, all right, guys, thanks. We'll see you later.